I wrestled John Cena and I went in, I think it was 2013, I went in WWE champion and we went in MetLife Stadium. We had a record-breaking attendance, which was amazing that night. We accomplished our goal. So I wrestled with John Cena. We had 45 minutes planned for the match. It's nonstop go, right? So your conditioning is tested. And at that time, I, I wasn't full-time in WWE. I was just doing these spot matches where I, would, I was still shooting Fast and Furious 6 in London, had to travel in the ring, get all my ring work in, travel back to shoot uh, Fast and Furious, then back WWE Raw, doing those shows, the big build up to WrestleMania against John. We get to MetLife Stadium, it's a big night, this is it, it's game night, right? It's, it's, it's championship night for me. 45 minute match planned out. At the 15 minute mark, bang! I feel something pop, I'm like, boom, what the fuck? I'm laying there and both of us are out. I said, oh fuck, something's going on. And uh, I stick my hand, now there's 85,000 people, right? And we're just laid out like this. I kind of rolled over, I stick my hand down in my trunk just to see, I want to make sure that there was no bones sticking out. So if there's no bones sticking out, what the fuck, something just happened. Referee comes over and he's like, Rocky, all right? I'm like, yeah, 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 I think I'm all right. I said, fuck. <laughs> I get up, I go to step, and I, I can't step, I can't do this. I have to use my leg like momentum. I gotta do that. So now in that moment, and you guys are gonna have these moments, you probably already had them already, where you're in the game and you're in the thick of things, and you gotta make a decision. What I gotta do? I gotta stay in the game, committed to the team. I committed to my team, the whole entire roster, right? So I could tell that the rest says, are you okay? And I have one moment. In this moment, it was a defining moment. I could either tell him, no, nope, I'm done. He gives the signal, match is over. Or, let's keep going. And again, this is a little takeaway for you guys. If you ever had this moment, I'm sure you have. If you haven't, it's coming. We had this decision. And I said, no, let's keep going. I said, how much time is left? He's like, 32 minutes. I'm like, fuck, okay. Rest of the whole match, <clears throat> couldn't move. Doing everything like this. I'm getting scared because I'm thinking, man, well, what happens if I, if I, if I pinch something or something like, you know, I don't know, your mind starts fucking with you in the moment. There's 85,000 people, your adrenaline's rushing. I'm thinking, man, what happens if I'm gonna lose my leg or some shit like this, if I've just done something to my artery? Final move of the match is his big finishing move. <clears throat> and I remember, I'm getting up and I'm turning like this because I have to fall into him. He's gonna hit me with his big finisher. It's like a massive suplex where I go over his head and fucking slams me down. And I remember turning, I remember turning into John and I remember thinking to myself, God, please don't let this be too bad. Just take care of me. Take care of me. Bang! I feel boom! And I don't know what the fuck just happened. Now luckily the match is over. He pins me, one, two, three. Comes in the back, get to the back, I can't move. Now, getting a little nervous. Doctors come in, don't know what's happening. Get on a jet, rushed home to my doctors down in Florida. And, uh, get an MRI, find out that I have completely torn my adductor, the top of my, my adductor and my top of my quad off my pelvis. Yes, really, really fucked up. What I was proud of was to walk out on my own, but not only that, but in this fucking moment where the odds are against you, people are watching, your team's depending on you, you either say I'm done, or this shit, whatever the fuck is going on, it's temporary and it may fuck me up at some point down the road but I'm not gonna let this opportunity go by without giving it my all. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith that on the other side of your pain is something good.